A nearly 60 year old tradition continues this weekend. That's right. Mercy High School faces Maryvale Prep School for the classic at Towson University CQ Arena on Friday night. And WJZ live at 5 o'clock right now. Caroline Forbag talked with both teams ahead of the big game. Caroline. Well, good evening. It's the only girls' athletic event of this scale in Maryland, and the opportunity is not lost on either team. Today, I, took, I talked to coaches and players about their game plan and their mindset going into tomorrow night's game. If you're a girls' basketball player, this is something that you want to play in. It's the day before the classic, and both Mercy High School and Maryvale Preparatory School basketball teams are ready for the highly anticipated rematch. Star girls are working hard six days a week. Uh, some of them come in early, like this morning, to shoot before school, and then we'll have practice tonight. Uh, so these girls put a tremendous amount of time and effort into it. It's the biggest crowd these teams have ever played in front of, but players on both sides say the key is managing the pressure. It's definitely a little nerve wracking. You see all the fans. And then you just know you have your team behind your back. A lot of people are there to support us, but we're here to play a game and we want to win. So we're going to do what is necessary. Yeah, I want the Mercy won last year's classic. Their guard, Milan Brown, was a freshman at the time and named MVP of the game. Like, it's just a feeling like the weather. Mercy has since moved up to the A conference and held their own this season. They've been focusing on defense and speed in practice. Maryvale has had to overcome some challenges this season. An ACL tear kept their starting point guard Emily Knapp off the bench. But coach Alex Miller says they're staying laser focused on their strengths. At the end of the day, it's take care of what we do, which is work really hard on defense, rebound the basketball, and find easy ways to score. You just want to be able to walk off the court at the end of the game and, and say, yeah, I fought my hardest. And tip-off is 7.30 tomorrow night. Reporting live here in Towson, Caroline Forback, WJZ. Rick, yeah, these young, young ladies put a lot of work in, so if you can get out there to support them, yeah. go check it out. Definitely. Caroline, thank you.